This is an olive grove. It has 600 olive trees and it belonged to my father and he passed it on to me. So now it's harvest time. You can see the olives. They're still green, but we, are, we harvest them green because that's the prime oil. And this year we didn't have the right weather. So the trees are empty. This is a disaster. They're empty. This so they is not. They normally have more. Oh, they, 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 they tilt with the weight of the olives. And because it was very warm and very wet, we have all these, these overgrowths that have to be cut out because they suck out the juices from the tree. We don't plow, we don't spray. Everything is absolutely natural here. We try to keep it as much close to nature as possible. We don't want to interfere a lot. Anyway, the olive trees don't need much. These actually, now they still need a lot of care for two or three more years because they're only 12 years old. Because they can survive. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 years. We liked the place very much. It was just nothing when we came and we decided that we like to build a house here to enjoy the view and the quiet and the serenity and be nature for a change. Because all our lives we were stuck in an office. See how empty the trees are? See how empty. Oh, I see. It's just down at the bottom. Yeah, it's a disaster. It's a disaster. If we don't have a cold winter, next year we're not going to have olives. Since it is a very, very secluded site, in a way we had to articulate a design that would uh, offer a sense of protection, a sense of intimacy. It's, it's all olives for, I mean, this whole region is... The whole region has many, many, many olives. Yes, olive it's olives. You can see there all, all the, the plain is full of olives. Yeah. The second very important element was that this house is in the midst of an olive grove of uh, 300 uh, olives in between the Megara plain that we see there and uh, the view of uh, this mountain. Since it was a 200 square meters house, not a very very uh, big house, we decided to inscribe it into a triangle so that all of the sides of the house were of a maximum length. You could not achieve this through a simple rectangular form. That's the reason why the house became triangular. We made two of the sides quite massive, protective, with very small openings. And, and the third one, the rectilinear, completely opens to the mountain and the view. This is the front door. It looks like you're entering a magical garden or something. Designed by, by Dilemma and made by my husband. So this is the, the lowest part of uh, the house. It's its entrance and the entrance is a small triangular courtyard. We tried with the plants to give some roundness. Yeah. Everything is so um, austere. To the austerity of yes. The yes. So we we try to make round and round and round and these uh, things and the the uh, the plants hanging and they 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 change colors with seasons and they die and come with seasons. So we we let the organisms take the shapes and so they, they live with us. And uh, this, uh, th these cuts in the walls, 
uh, bring different light every time of the day. When it is morning, we have the morning light and then as the sun goes, the colors in the courtyard change, the light in the courtyard changes. And um, it's really lovely. We, we love this. We love this feeling. So you see, if, if you come and in the afternoon here, it's completely different. It's another, uh, other shapes, other colors. And this is the, this is this, the, the, the main, the, the courtyard where we, we live, really. We also try to keep it as natural as possible. We don't want ga uh, gazon, G grass. grass. There are, in a way, two corridors in the house. An open-air one that is connected with the two courtyards and a closed one, a glass-roofed one, that connects the living quarters to the sleeping quarters. And uh, as you can also see, the, the corridor is out of ramped earth. And this is the main entrance. Okay. And we put our sofa here so that we could have a beautiful view. And uh, all this you can open straight down and then it is one. The ground, the earth, the olive trees are in the house. You are with the trees. You're out. You're out in, you're out in the olive grove. What we want it is the, the direct uh, view of the mountain. Well, you're in contact with your trees at all times. At all times, yes. We talk to them. Eventually they will have names, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and we had plans for curtains and uh, we, have, we don't want anything. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. just in the, in the way, all these things. Anyway, nobody sees us, only the birds, so we have no problem. The only curtain we have is this. But it separates the three parts of the living space. So, yeah. so this is the living room, in a way, and it's separated from the dining room. So you've just created but a room. You, yes, you create a room in between a larger space so that these three Spaces are more intimate. And what's and this? Now this is the dining room, in a way that is connected to the garden. It's a very fluid room. I mean, you even see with the wind, you sort of, your walls start to move. It's an element a bit like the plants. It tries to soften the austerity of the design. We like that when everything is open, that the curtains are moving by the wind. Do you use this? Because it's quite transparent, but it does enough. Yes, it is enough. Uh, at night when we watch TV, I close the curtain. It is a very easy house to maintain because we have chosen to have the minimum of things in here so that we can cope with it because I'm getting old and I, I don't want to suffer. So we have just this which is big enough to accommodate people and then this is the dining area. Yeah. This is our fireplace. This so, so you put wood underneath? Yes, 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 it is insulated. 
It is a, we put wood underneath and we have, we sit there and we enjoy the fire and the mountain in the winter. Yeah. It is a good life. <laughs> we have skipped all the traditional ovens and all that. So we installed a modern oven and this is probably the best place in the house for me. It is not very often that you can cook and talk and uh, look and uh, be in nature and be with people. So this is a very social place. Even washing the dishes is fun, <laughs> which is not a very nice thing. This is very nice, yes. And the oven, the microwave. It's all hidden, kind of, the kitchen, no? Yes, the kitchen is uh, taken by the mountain, as you can see. I mean, the mountain decides when the cupboards will close and when they will open. Because it's uh, pure wood. And when it's, when it's very hot, it shrinks. And when it's very... In, in the winter, it's... Now, you see, now some of them, this one doesn't want to close. But we don't care. I mean, we have come to terms with the mountain. The mountain is dominant here. So we don't mind at all. And the lights. Just uh, two iron pieces of a, of a width of uh, three centimeters. They are very good at, uh, at night, the light is beautiful. Yeah, the, the, the image of the house completely changes uh, uh, during the night time. Now this is the way going to the bedrooms. And this is a very useful storage area as well where we keep all, all our clutter. You have to hide it somewhere. We have all the, the shoes and uh, the, the things we wear in the garden. and the, It's the dirty cupboard. Very useful. This is for the friends, or for our children when they come. And I think this really has a beautiful view, view of the garden and of the olive grove. That's interesting, it has just a small sliver of a view. Yes, you don't need more because you can't see more. You, it's enough. And it only has a bed, that's, only, that's what you need. If you want to put your mobile somewhere, you put it on the floor. It's very fresh in the summer as well and very warm in the winter. The bedrooms are very, very well protected. In spring and summer, this is all very green. Now they are dropping their leaves. Uh, it's beautiful. Uh, this is a shower and a toilet. This is a beautiful shower and with a beautiful view. <laughs> Always the olives, you see. It's yeah. olives. It's an olive grove. We don't mind looking at the olives all year round. The shower is a triangle as well. Yes, I like the, these shapes. They give you, I don't know, they give you um, a, a vitality. You say, oh, ooh, oh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and this is uh, the, the master bedroom. This is the best place in the world to sleep. We were supposed to be blind and I, we decided we don't want anything because this, the night sky is absolutely magnificent. So we don't want anything, we just leave it. And we have our garden in, fr in front of us. And this, you can pull this, you can close it completely. You have no con communication with the bathroom. And this is the bathroom. This is the only thing that is really of the old times. I remember my grandparents having this kind of thing to wash their clothes and and of course the shower. It's again triangular. Up to here. Uh, okay, but it's subtle. There's no glass. No, you have the open feeling. It's uh, big enough.
and we have this little window here that is very sneaky. You open that in the summer and it makes such a nice draft. It's like if you have air conditioning. We don't need it. We open two doors and that's it. I'm sure the thermal mass of the whole structure keeps it yes. cool in Yes, summer. and uh, the flowers and the roof. It, the roof is completely insulated. So the flowers are soil. Yes. So the house is insulated. You open the windows and that's it. Also, why, what is quite important is that it is a, um, it's a house on a slope. It's on purpose that we have the more intimate spaces at the lowest more human side of the triangle and the more extrovert living quarters at the higher, more grandiose side of the triangle. In a way, there are instructions for emotion and use in this <laughs> dessert in the house, right? You could say that, yes. And as you can see, the height is quite small at the end of the inclined roof. Oh, because this is the shortest. Yeah, this is the short. The, the shortest is the entrance door. It's, it's really a bit like Alice in Wonderland. So this it is very important yeah. to see what I say about the inclination of the prism is that two of the sides this is a trapezoid inclined side. So that the house makes a funnel to the mountain. The surfaces of the house are out of exposed uh, concrete that is tinted in a warm earthy color, especially when it has light on it. When sun is on the concrete, it gets really warm. It's amazing that a concrete structure could feel so part of the landscape. I think because it matches the rock. Yes, but this is, was also done on purpose because it's not the normal concrete color. We painted it so that it uh, matches exactly the rock. I, I, I experimented with the, the color of the elevation so that it matches the rock. But because when it was poured and we saw it on site, it was a cold, in a way, gray and the house was not grounded. When we color it, it became similar to the rock and it was finally grounded. And you see it's the same uh, tint of the earth. I didn't even know if I could see through it, but you actually have a huge view here. Yes, of course. It's, it's tiny, but... It's, this, this cut is, uh, is um, particularly designed at the edge of the trapezoid atrium, so that it's not, uh, uh, it's not closed. And so that adds probably as well to us light, right? So yes, of course. Light, when, uh, when there is sun, this is the, the eastern side, early in the morning, there is uh, sun entering the atrium by this slot. And you see that already there are tumbling plants on the exposed concrete. So the aim is that the plants tumble on the facades. Gradually, it becomes an ecosystem, especially if birds uh, drop things. Yeah. I don't know if uh, Pepe told you about the, the water feature. There is, a, there is a well, an ancient well in the field whose water we use in order to recirculate it around the house. The water starts from that corner, begins from the well and uh, makes a tour around the house.
It's, it's for cooling and for being able to hear the water running, to hear this uh, wonderful sound of the water running. Does it also work climatically somehow? Yes, in a way it offers... Uh, it's fresh, it offers a coolness during summer. We don't, we don't go in the lake in the summer. When it's you, you enter? Oh, yes. Lake, yeah. what's the lake? The, the small the lake around uh, when it, the olive When we tree. are in the afternoon, we go, if we, if we feel hot, in the lake. Oh, nice out again. And the birds love it because they drink water all summer. What is also quite important is that the inclination of the roof suddenly gets more abrupt in order to open up the view to the mountain with a greater intensity. If it was just uh, continuing, the, the mountain would be the, the mountain view would be obstructed. You're in the house and in the olive grove. That's what is amazing about this place. Do you want, do you want this or do you want this? This is with Here. rose petals and rose clay. And this Hi, is with um, their olive oil. And this is with rosemary. Oh, can I smell? Yeah, smell that. Mm. Smell that. You make, you make soap from... From your olives? Yes, from this yeah. olive. <laughs> so it's all from your garden? Yes, <gasps> everything is from the garden.